Let's look at finding the density of an irregular shaped solid. So the first thing is to find the mass of the solid. So I'm going to get the second camera ready so that I can see the display on the balance. Let's get that started and pop on the piece of rock onto the balance and we can see that that's 44.92 grams. Now I'm going to take my um, rock and or a bit of stone and rather um, not showing the greatest skill I'm going to try and tie this bit of string around it. Now there would be an argument that I would be better off using a thin piece of thread because a thin piece of thread would then have less effect on the volume um, when I lower it into uh, the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this into the measuring cylinder and see how the level of water changes. But so that you have a better chance of being able to take a reading, I'm going to start my second camera again and I'm going to move the camera level with the measuring cylinder so that you can hopefully take a reading. So you can see it's one um, above, if we get right in to avoid a parallax error, one division above 350. And then I'm going to lower in my rock and let's get it lined up to avoid a parallax error. And then you'll be able to read the new volume and hence find the volume of the stone. And once you've done that, you should have the two things to calculate the density of the rock.